Well, the divided states of America wraps up their election, and it was historic for many reasons, including the highest voter turnout in over a century. Joe Biden narrowly wins. Kamala Harris becomes the first woman and woman of color on the presidential ticket. Trump loses, but Trumpism lives on. Lots to discuss, so we take to the streets of Vancouver today to see what you have to say. I think a lot of people are probably relieved that Biden won, but I do think that there's, you know, a, a missing piece in his becoming president and the transformation that is needed to really help and fix the divided states of America is not going to be found in Biden. He's being recognized in America as the winner right now. You don't think that's going to hold up? I don't think it's going to hold up. No? Nope. No. 138,000 votes only for Biden. Uh, to me, that's very suspicious. We will see once more investigation occurs if fraud did it indeed occur. Um, how do you think uh, he's going to impact the relationship between America and Canada? Um, he's going to be reinforced for sure because uh, Trump destroyed that by not even taking care of the things like COVID situations and also about the parliament and what's happening in the, in the country. Uh, it's going to actually like make definitely trying to reinforce that, trying to improve, make some new arrangements, especially trying to get, join the connect the dots between Canada and the United States. When you heard the news, what was the first thought that went through your mind? Uh, I might have shed a tear <laughs> of happiness. Yeah, glad. No, I think absolutely. I don't think there's going to be any overturning of the vote count, so yeah, happy. Kamala Harris. First woman elected to the presidential ticket, first woman of color. As a female, what are your thoughts on, on that? It's historic. It's a wonderful moment. Great thing for my girls to see as a, a role model going forward. Yeah, super pleased. America and everyone has someone else to look forward to seeing in the morning instead of maybe Twitter at 2 or 3 a.m. They see, you know, Biden doing some work versus Trump. So I think it's exciting stuff. One thing that he has announced so far is that he would rejoin the Paris Climate Accord, which would be pro-environment, something you mentioned there. Yes, that's very important. Yeah. Happy I could deliver that news, the good news to you on your birthday weekend. Thank you, yay! We're going to come back into like a, a sustainable place where animals and plants matter and our livelihood, yeah. But as one who's from the States, maybe you could paint a picture on just like how real those divisions are. They don't get a lot of news from the outside, so they don't know really what's going on. So they're very insular with their ideals, and it's it's sad because everyone needs more than what Trump was giving us, obviously. Now that Biden's been officially voted in, do you think he's going to be able to unify the country a little more? He's still pretty centrist, honestly, for a Democrat. So maybe there's a lot of Republicans that actually liked him back in the day. So he, he might be able to like I don't know, bridge the divide a little bit. I don't know, it all depends on how cooperating everyone wants to be with him. We come together in crisis, and, 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 and Trump winning would be such a crisis that we would have to revolt against the tyranny, the misogyny, the racism, the institutionalized racism, the institutionalized colonial systems. Um, we would have to come together to, to, to fight that, to end that. Well, there you have it. Vancouverites speaking out on the U.S. election. We'll see what happens, but Trump will officially be in the White House until January 20th, at which point he'll be asked to leave peacefully, and his presidency will be forbidden. Or should I say, for Biden. Jordan Wade for City Lights on Nova TV.